Hi there, this is Chris Kellett with MuseGrid.com. We're going to take a look at the new before and after widget. So here we have it in the library panel, already installed. And you'll see in the uh, widget download itself, we have um, the MuseLib file here that you just double click and install, or right click and open with on the Mac. And then we have these files for upload. So we'll add those in a minute. But first, let's drag the widget onto the page. So we've dragged that onto the page there. And you'll see in our settings, we can set the slider direction, the before image, the after image, the color of the slider parts, which we'll see in a minute, and the offset that we want left and right, and whether we want to show the labels. So let's put the rest of the files into this Muse file, and then we can preview and see what we're looking at. So now we have that on the page, and you'll notice that because it doesn't render on the page uh, and won't render until we're viewing in the browser, we just have this image here saying that images will be displayed when the page is previewed. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Add Files for Upload. We're going to, we're going to navigate to this folder here, Files for Upload, and select all of them, and click Open. And we'll then see them in the Assets panel here and we can see that they're all um, going to be uploaded. This image here, we've got a little warning here to say it's not included. We can embed that uh, and that warning goes away. So let's preview this in the browser now. And here we see the before and after widget. So as we scroll the item left to right, we can see the uh, image underneath. Because it's a um, the photo touching work, um, has happened on a uh, single image we can see that it matches perfectly let's change some of our options on this so let's change this to vertical we can see that um, we've put the before image and the after image we've put them assets and then before because that's where Muse uploads these um, additional files up to and let's set the offset let's set this to 3 we're going to set this to 7. Now the reason why we do that is because we want to set where the scrubber bar, the scroll bar, is going to sit and this number together has to equal 1. So if we set that to 3 this has to be 7, if this was 4 that would have to be 6 and so on. And let's change the color of this. So let's type in there blue for example. You could put a hex color in there as well. and then preview this in the browser and we can see here now we have this uh, this is sitting horizontal instead of vertical and if we refresh that page again we can see that rather than being in the center it's offset 30% um, 70% offset and we can see that the items the scrub bar here is blue as well and then finally we're going to switch on the labels let's preview that again And you can see here that as we hover over the image, it shows the text before and after. So that's the before and after widget from MuseGrid.com. We hope you enjoy using it, and thanks for watching.